what's going on guys, my name is Madison Jonathan from MLC Tech and now Zen 5 hasn't even touched the market yet and we already have new details as to regards to the direction AMD is taking the CPUs when it comes to the launch of Zen 6. So sit back and relax as we dive into all the latest details regarding Zen 6 and the direction AMD is taking their CPUs. Now AMD has been integrated graphics into its recent generations of mainstream desktop CPUs. However, the implementations of these iGPUs have been somewhat of an afterthought, with AMD having a separate line of APUs receiving the company's best iGPUs that they have. However, we have some details today suggesting that this practice might change with the launch of Zen 6. Now a known leaker other known as Everest recently claimed that Zen 6 CPUs, which is a future lineup of AMD Ryzen CPUs, will incorporate graphics hardware based on RDNA 5. And now if this proves to be true, this indicates a significant shift in Team Red's approach to integrated graphics. Now AMD recently launched the Ryzen 8000 series line of Zen 4 APUs. If you'd like to know the details of these CPUs, we actually did a video last month covering the details of these CPUs if you're interested in checking out this video. But to catch you up to speed, these APUs feature RDNA 3 graphics, and whilst the line of 8000 APUs deliver impressive iGPU performance, some users may still prefer the earlier Ryzen 7000 CPUs despite their inclusion of a much weaker iGPU that consists of only two RDNA 2 based cores, which severely limits the integrated graphics performance. Further to this point, there is no evidence at the moment that Zen 5 or Ryzen 9000 lineup of processors, which we've done a video in covering some of the details of this platform already if you're interested in checking out some of our latest videos around this. But to catch you up to speed with all the details of Zen 5, it's expected that this will launch later this year. This lineup of CPUs will feature the same chiplet design, the same core count and same IO die as the Zen 4 generation. With AMD targeting the performance improvements in CCPUs, mainly in uplifts to efficiency in IPC performance. Now skipping multiple generations of RDNA based graphics could indicate an intention to equip Ryzen processors with much stronger G iGPUs in the future. Though it remains to be seen how this shift will affect the future of the APU market as a whole, as their significance could worry out if other products offer adequate and very capable graphical performance. But with this shift of direction from AMD, the development of future gaming consoles is a very important factor to consider when it comes to upcoming AMD hardware. Now, the leaker Everest previously claimed that Sony's next generation PlayStation 6 would utilize Zen 6 and RDNA based APUs. And now Microsoft might also opt for the same generation of AMD graphics for its next Xbox console. Now, AMD targeting consoles would give RDNA 5 greater importance in AMD's roadmap than RDNA 4 currently has. But on the mention of RDNA 4, we did a video recently showing all the recent details around this lineup of GPUs which you can check out in the description down below. But to catch you up to speed now, AMD is planning to only target the mid-range of GPUs with the launch of RDNA 4, and this approach would mirror the same strategy of RDNA 1, which lacked an Infusius class desktop GPU. Now, we don't have too much details on the Zen 6 architecture as a whole, as the focus is still primarily on Zen 5 in terms of development. But the lineup has been referred to as Medusa in the leaks, but it has previously carried the codename Morpheus beforehand. But the details that we do know of Zen 6 is that it is expected to feature a 2.5D interconnect for significantly increased bandwidth, and it is expected to use TSMC's upcoming 2 nanometer process node. With it being recently reported that TSMC plans to bring 2 nanometer risk production in late 2024, with mass production hopefully following the next year, so Zen 6 could emerge sometime in 2025 or 2026. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions around this story in the comments down below. What do you think of the direction that AMD is taking Zen 6 in making the whole range of CPUs more in line with their current approach with APUs, where every CPU comes packed with very capable integrated graphics out of the box as a whole? And how do you think this will affect the rest of the CPU market and APU market as a whole? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.